Hey everybody and welcome to the start of a brand new series. This is Northern Lion Plays Scribblenauts Unlimited. So this is the newest in the storied franchise of Scribblenauts games that I believe started on the DS. Moved to, I think there was a Wii game, there's some on the 3DS now, and in any case, this is now available on the PC via Steam as well as Wii U, so I figured, you know, this is actually my first Scribblenauts game, but I spent a lot of time with the game at PAX this year, just basically fucking around, making the weirdest possible combinations to solve these puzzles that I could. And if you're not familiar with Scribblenauts, you will be soon, so don't worry. So I am playing the PC version here, it just came out this morning on Steam, uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually go and delete all of our data because I want to start from the very beginning here. So we're going to go back and we are just going to start the game and we'll probably start with an opening cutscene here that will give you some backdrop for the remainder of the game. But don't worry, the story's not going to play a huge part in our early videos here, so it's only going to take a few minutes. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there, having lunch. Where's Monty? They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof! The word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him. But he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm going to go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm going to get all the starites in the world, and I'm going to make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. All right, to be honest with you, I find that opening cutscene a little bit laborious, but, you know, that's not what Scribblenauts is about. Scribblenauts is not about watching cutscenes. Scribblenauts is about coming up with huge, enormous pink windmills to solve puzzles. So we're gonna go through the tutorial here. We're gonna go through this as quickly as possible, but this will give you some idea, if you're not familiar with Scribblenauts, uh, of how the game actually works. So first things first, we're just gonna click on the farmer here. Come closer to start me. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that. So we're gonna click on him, and he's gonna start a quest for us, which is indicated by this blue star right here. Basically, our sister is turning to stone because we're the world's biggest douchebag. Have a notebook that can make anything, including unlimited food, solve world hunger, and instead we just give this homeless man a rotten apple. Genius, what a nice guy. So we're gonna start with the basics here. Very lovable protagonist, obviously. I'll dig his rooster hat, though. That is pretty baller. So our goal here is to turn the runt of the litter, this pig, into an award-winning pig, write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. So we gotta clean the pig first. Why don't we click on our notebook here, 
And then I can type whatever I want, any combination of adjectives and nouns, uh, to give me some tool to clean this pig. So why don't I go with like a enormous, maybe that won't work, huge pink water hose. Okay, I guess, wait a minute, what happened here? Drag this to Maxwell? Okay, uh, pick up. Is it working? Yes, it is sort of working. So we're gonna drag this and use it to clean the pig by clicking on him. Or maybe we can't? I don't know what the heck's going on here. You know what, get rid of the water hose. You're failing miserably. Oh no, it's working now. We just had to back further away, I guess. Alright, so that water hose works on like any water hose in history, but that's cool because it's done. So we're gonna click on Maxwell, remove this object now. I previously used a sponge to do that in my off-camera save. The pig looks great now, let's use an adjective to increase the pig's size. Alright. So we could go with huge, we've already used. We could use, we can't use enormous apparently, but we could use humongous big pig. Alright, pig's quite large now. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Okay. So again, we're just building big things right now. Uh, so we're gonna create an object. He needs wings large enough to fly. Let's, d I mean, I don't think we can use superlatives like biggest wings. But we could use, uh, huge, enormous, gargantuan wings. Whoa, those are pretty big. Okay, so we're gonna store these in our backpack. And then we're gonna wait for the judges of the pig contest to arrive. John Lennon and, uh, you know, Annie Oakley and Colin Northway, aka Mustache Man from Spelunky. We're gonna get the wings back from our backpack here where they were stored for later use. And we have a flying, enormous pig. I don't know why these judges have to deliberate Pac-Man style when it's pretty goddamn clear that this enormous flying pig is gonna be unbeatable. But in any case, let's see who comes in third here. Small pig who sucks. Brown and white pig who's actually kind of cute. And of course, this affront to the Lord's creation is gonna win first prize in this sweet trophy here. Now, every time people get happy when you help them out, you get Starrite, and Starrite is what we're gonna use to eventually uh, make sure that Lily does not completely turn into stone as if this was like an Ernest Scared Stupid movie. Anyway, there's one Starrite total for us. And then they're gonna be like, well, we just taught you the basics. Oh no, wait, we still have more tutorials to go through. Okay. Ten shards will form a Starrite. So those quests, like those blue star things that I clicked on right at the start, they give you, uh, a full Starrite. Ten shards, which you get for, like, smaller quests, will form one full Starrite as well. So, we can use Starrite Vision to see where we can get Starrite, and we can see if something glows in yellow, they need, uh, our help. So we need to help the sprout grow. One thing we could do here is make, like, a water gun. But that would be pretty lame, so they tell us to try something else to water the seed. How about, um, what else? What about, a, like, a wet, because you can use adjectives like this, what about a wet, uh, let me think about this. Wet, uh, controller. Yes, uh, electronics, please. I don't want, like, a... Try make... Okay! Let me have some freedom here. We could use a rain cloud. And by posting a rain cloud, like, right here, it'll rain on the sprout, make it grow. Oh, no! It's a piranha plant. Moment loses some of its punch when you've actually seen it happen before. But anyway, they're gonna be like, okay, this is, they're just doing this to teach us how to restart levels, basically, in case we, we mess things up. So we're gonna reset this level uh, and lose our progress on that sprout puzzle, but we're just gonna tell Edgar... Hey, don't, uh, solve that. Don't make that sprout grow or you're gonna die. Alright, what's this girl's problem? My kitty is stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. Let's create, um, a soda jetpack. Ah, uh, it's not gonna work. What about a solar jetpack? Never thought about that, but we do have this power of the sun here. So by putting this on Maxwell, we should be able to fly up here, grab the kitty, and then take it down to this lady. Or we can just run away with it, I guess. We're gonna give her the kitty. Beautiful. That is gonna give us one star ride shard. And that will be the end of our level here. So that's basically the tutorial done. And now we're gonna go do some... We could play as... Oh, sorry, not Edgar. Edwin. We could go play as him right now. But I'm gonna stay as Maxwell. I dig his hat, I gotta say. As a bald man, you know, I've got a, a pension for fine hats. Fine headwear, I could say. So we're gonna go to the capital city. Capital city, bitch. Cushion the air and the liquor in the mini fridge. I don't know. Just freestyling, saying what comes off the top of my head. So you use Star Eyed Vision. Who needs some help? This guy needs some help. What do you want from me? I want someone to entertain me. So we can create an object. And what, what's a way to entertain? What about like funniest, uh, funny dancing gorilla? That seems pretty goddamn entertaining to me. 
So we'll drag this guy down here. Yeah. That is pretty funny. This guy's entertained and we get a star ride shard. I don't know how he made all this stuff appear, but I, I like that too. He loves it. Uh, we have a car here. What's wrong with this car? I'm parked illegally. This puzzle, the first time I did it... By the way, I'm trying to solve these puzzles all in different ways than the way I did it uh, when I was doing it on camera. Because otherwise it would be too easy and it would probably end up being kind of boring. But Star Ride Vision here. Yes, so we need to move this car. This one is the one exception. I'm probably going to solve this exactly the same way I solved... Oh, you know what? No, I'll solve it exactly the same way because I want to save that other reveal for later. So, this car is parked illegally. What we can do is get... Uh, wait a minute, let's try getting a tow truck, actually. I've never done that before. Where do we put the tow truck here? Will this work? Get, tow the car away. The car is still very unhappy. Uh, sure, ride the tow truck. Move the car out of the way. Drive it into the gorilla. Hey, it succeeded! Okay, that's good. I actually did the puzzle here uh, a different way. So now let's get out of the tow truck. The first time I used like a huge magnet and I just pulled the car away. But there are also other ways that we can do this. So we have some graffiti here. Uh, what I did the, the first time I did this is I added adjective and I made it transparent graffiti. But instead, why don't we get like a uh, huge wet pink sponge. And we'll put this on us. And then we should be able to click on this and use it on that. Clean up the graffiti and oh look a park just sprung up in exactly the same area. And then we'll of course click remove. Get this sponge out of here. Drag it up to the top right. Scribblenauts is a game that you can probably solve it in more conventional ways, or solve most of the puzzles in conventional ways, but who wants that, man? I want to solve shit in the craziest way possible, so we're going to use, uh, place someone in the phone booth for me to make a sidekick. Okay. Why don't we put, um, Tiny Grandma in the phone booth, and she can be Tiny Grandma Woman. Yeah, she became a young lady, amazingly, somehow as a result of that, so that's more... Uh, scribble knots, or sorry, uh, more star ride for us as I go into star ride vision. What about this one right here? Create a new fountain for the city. Place an object in this water, then flip the switch. You know what? This is gonna be perfect. We're gonna create object. How about humongous bald man statue? Yeah. Oh, well, the baldness is a little bit shoehorned in. But I appreciate that. This is the Northern Lion statue right here. <laughs> I like it. Oh, he had that like thought bubble coming up. He's like, I'm a man. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, I don't want to. I want to use the object. Interact. Why can't I interact with it? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That is the statue to Northern Lion in the city square. No, put it back. The statue to Northern Lion in the city square now. Let's move past that. And I think there's one last quest over here before we'll finish with the capital city level. He might have done this before, so things are going to be a little bit faster because I know the conditions necessary uh, to solve these puzzles. Whereas, uh, for other stuff, like when I start doing things for the first time, it's going to be more difficult. And I only played like 10 minutes of this this morning before I started this series. So things will get fresh very soon. So play classic carnival games to win prizes. I will do so. I wish this carny would get away from me though. Kind of creeped me out with his weird mustache. The carnival's in town. Throw something to knock over the bottles, but don't cross the barrier. I can do that. A lot of you guys might be saying, why don't you just make yourself a baseball? You know what? Just because of you, I'm going to take a, a red basketball. Yeah. And put it on top of myself. And then double click on these bottles right here to throw. Worked perfectly. Baseball would have worked fine. Now, you might be saying, hey, why don't you use like a gun or something or a dart and throw it at these balloons? Well, I think that's pretty silly. Why use a gun or a dart when you can use uh, a tiny flaming, uh, maybe we should, let's use a wet because flaming might cause us to die. Tiny wet javelin. I don't know why wetness has anything to do with it. I just, it's my favorite adjective. So what, will this work? Throw, work totally fine. I guess a dart kind of is a tiny javelin. Throw something to hit the dug tank without crossing the barrier. You might be saying, you should use a tennis ball or something for this. I think you're absolutely right. Last time I used a machine gun. That worked totally fine too. So let's, oh no, click on this right here. I want to throw the tennis ball. Oh, I gave it to the carny by accident. This is why I want him to get further away from me. Um, what about a throwing star? Yeah. So let's put that on ourselves. You had the chance at the tennis ball and you fucked it up. Okay, we still succeeded here though, perfect. So that will give us one full piece of star right. 
beautiful, and those are some fairly creative solutions, but also, some of them were a little bit pedestrian. So we got two total star rides now, which is cool. We will continue. And what is this guy saying? Oh, I think it means the puzzle solved. Now we can also go to these new areas in here. I can't get around this... Get this statue out of here. I'm sorry, Northern Lion statue, but it had to be done. Uh, there's also, like, these areas here. We can go in and get more Star Ride. There's more quests involved in each one of these areas here. So I'm gonna go to the hospital. This is the last area that I went to when I was playing off camera. And it's probably the last area I'll go to over the course of this video. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll do a little bit more. Uh, because th these tend to be fairly quick. A and then we'll get into 100% fresh stuff that I've never seen before. Is that a Castle Crasher? By the way, on uh, the, the Wii U version, there are, like, proprietary Nintendo characters. Like, uh, you can put, like, Link and Mario and stuff in your games. Sadly, I'm playing this on the PC because my Wii U isn't here yet, but it's cool regardless. Give me something that I can use to perform surgery. Okay, what about, uh, I could give her a scalpel. That would be the easy way out. What if I gave her best surgeon and basically just completely undermined her ability to do her work? Yeah, she shouldn't be happy about that. I basically just cost her a job. And now we can play as Kenpo, but we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, what we are gonna do is talk to this guy right here and start a quest. Now this quest, I'm, uh, I'm gonna say solve most of these puzzles in the same way I solved them off camera because this is basically a tutorial quest to remind you that hey, you don't necessarily need to just create objects, you can also create people like I did right there with the best surgeon. So we're gonna help all the patients that are coming into the hospital. So with doctors on call, we are going to be very useful here. Help the patients that are being delivered to St. Astra's Hospital. He's gonna drive up here. Take your sweet time, my man. Don't worry about it. So we got a sick cat. You know what helps a sick cat? Veterinarian. Thank God my spelling is half decent. We're gonna drop him down here. Sweet haircut, man. Uh, maybe I should have given this guy a mouth or something. Veterinarian, what do you- Yeah! I thought he was running away. But anyway, I just threw him in the trash. That's what I think of your damn seven years of med school. Uh, we have, obviously, some bad teeth here. Ouch, it must be a toothache. I solved this for the first time by making a drill. But let's just skip the middleman here and go with a dentist instead. Who's gonna solve that problem? Lickety splits. And up, oh, dentist, where do you think you're going? I can't just have dentists roaming around in this hospital all the time. We got a robot. You'd be surprised that this one is gonna work. What about handsome roboticist? That is handsome. I guess it is like Owen Wilson. Hey man, you broke my robot. It's okay, I'll fix it. That was my Owen Wilson impression. It could use some work. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, we have a book here. Let's wait for our prompt. The book story isn't complete. Where's the last chapter? J.R.R. Tolkien. Ah, oh, it's not gonna work. Um, worst. I, I don't think J.R.R. Tolkien's a bad writer. But let's put a bad writer in here. Looks like a bad writer. Were you wearing freaking overalls, you ding dong? Is the book actually hurting him? I don't know what's up with that, but that is a weird interaction. Finally, we have a car. Let's make a female, does that work as an adjective? Yeah, female, huge, busty, uh, well-bosomed, nope, um, female, huge, yellow, I don't know, dog mechanic? Uh, they're gonna, they're not gonna allow dog to work, so we'll just go with mechanic. This should already be silly enough, wow, okay. That is a huge yellow mechanic, I'll give you that. She should fix this problem lickety-split. And we are good. An ally was defeated. What happened? I, I wonder if the, the bad writer got killed by the book. I don't understand how that- Oh, maybe he was a bad writer. Like, bad as in his morals, so the book attacked him? I mean, sometimes the game interactions work like that. Uh, let's make a lazy veterinary- or We should actually just make everything, like, friendly. Friendly veterinarian. And we'll drop her down here. How you doing, kitty? Are you gonna run away? You just move. I'll just... The, my secret to fixing the kitten is that I'm gonna face the other way, wave my arms a little bit, and voila! No problems! Alright, so we're gonna make a friendly, ugly dentist. I mean, I guess she is ugly. She's covered in garbage. That's... I just wanted her to have, like, an unusual bone structure or something, but if you literally want to cover her in trash, that works too, I guess. Now we have a robot, so again, we're gonna make friendly, wet roboticist. Aw, oh, yeah, it's Owen Wilson again. Robot, can you dry me off, please? Oh, this is scary. I probably shouldn't have him here with this electricity. 
I don't think he's fixed, is he? Maybe he is. He's just standing still, though. That worries me. Um, friendly rider. I really want this roboticist to get the hell out of the or this robot to get the hell out of the way, though. I'm worried he's gonna shock us. And finally, we're gonna have the car again, and we will go with friendly mechanic, Frugidi mechanic. Friendly mechanic. The other reason I thought it would be better to play this on PC as opposed to Wii U was because I really did not want to have to type everything on the on-screen keyboard. Even though the Wii U gamepad has a touchpad, that would still be... I seriously don't know what the problem is here. Let's quit for now. Uh, and we'll go s up the elevator here and we'll solve some more problems for people. I thought I was doing totally fine. We can complete this quest at the end of the video, perhaps, to see if it works. What do you got for me? Help me laugh again. Okay. Funny... Dolphin comedian. Ah, they're not gonna let me make a dolphin comedian. Funny dolphin. That'll do it. Who doesn't like a funny? Oh, he's riding the dolphin in his unicycle wheelchair. All right, problem solved there. Let's go up to the next level, unless we can go outside, which we can't. Okay, so let's go up to the next level. Let's click here. Uh, what's this thing? What's our problem? It's a human heart. Okay. I thought it was a boxing glove. What's her problem? Stop the attacking heart. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it with a gun. Shot through the heart. Bon Jovi. Okay, um, machine gun. How about huge pink machine gun? All right, that'll do it. That's like an Uzi or something. I need to, I, I don't want to kill the nurse is the thing. All right. No, it, oh God, it hurts. We destroyed it. Did we get the star right? Yes, we did. Uh, let's get this machine gun. Oh, no, don't shoot at the hospital patrons, please. Let's put this machine gun away. Mankind is not meant to have all that power yet. Amused Black Knight, okay. What's up, Monty Python doctor? I need new equipment for the hospital. He's an amused orthopedist. Uh, we're gonna give him... Uh, use notepad. Create object. Best defibrillator. Ah, I spelled it wrong. It's two L's. Okay, best defibrillator. That's what you gave, my friend. You happy about that? Yeah! Excellent. Oh, God! Click check on Lily at the farm to unlock new levels. I can do that, but I don't want to yet. I mean, I guess I will, because I have to. We're going to get a little bit of a story vignette here. Defibrillator, of course, if you're not familiar, is the shocking paddles that they use to restart your heart if your heart stops. So we've sort of... Stopped her from turning into stone a little bit, and she's going to give us a global map, which is going to allow us to, you know, do a little bit of globe trotting here. But sadly, her other leg turned to stone. Some troll two going on here. But in any case, I think I'm going to exit to the main menu for now, or we can just hang out here for a second. But uh, yeah, in any case, thank you guys for watching the first part of the Scribble Knots series from me. I'm intending to do the entire game. I don't expect it's going to be too too long, and I'm excited to see how my puzzle solving ability evolves into crazy and unique ways. I don't just want to make everything huge, pink, and wet. Although, what can I say, ladies? I do have that reputation. I'm gonna make huge YouTube liar. Too late, I'm already here. Uh, in any case, again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Whenever there's a new series, I always appreciate the outpouring of support that you guys can give it. So however you feel fit, thumbs up to you. As always, I will see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. New video incoming very, very soon. Thanks for watching.